Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tetsu Claw, and you may know me from my Spiral Abyss videos in the past, but today I want to talk to you about Kaching and how she got buffed by Farina. Uh, for a bit of history, Kaching is a standard banner 5-star character that has been available since the game launch. And she did have one limited banner back late February 2021, although it wasn't a very popular banner. Uh, she had been all over the meta raking since. Uh, very early game, she was rated very highly, but quickly fell off as people discovered the value of reactions, especially when it came to melt and vape. Uh, sadly, at the time, there was not much use for the electro applications, for, so physical ended up becoming her best option. Uh, as we all know, physical damage also has its own mess of issues and was not commonly used. Uh, most of the people that used Kaching back in the day were basically her biggest fans. Uh, when Sumer was released, uh, we got the introduction of Dendro, and oh boy, Dendro was a game changer for the game. It completely shook up the meta and added new meta teams to compete with the previous meta. This is a great change for the game as it opened up many new viable ways to play the game. Uh, Kaching now had an outlet for all of her fast electrical application in the form of aggravate teams, and it was delicious. There are ample videos out there showing how good Kaching became with Dendro. Uh, we also got other electro damage carries that are great for aggravate, such as Yamiko and Sino. Sino was purpose built for Dendro and even enjoyed a new team type called Quick Bloom. Quick Bloom is where your carry is able to spam aggravate reactions while also being the trigger for Hyper Bloom as well. In this case, I will not be talking about Alhatham and Tiknari Quick Bloom options as uh, they need a separate electro character, such as Ryan Shogun or Kuki for the Hyper Bloom portion. Uh, and I also won't be comparing Kaching for Sino and Quick Bloom, and this is more focused on how awesome Kaching is at this team. I don't have Sino, Alhatham, or Tignari, so I can't show them as comparisons. Alright, now back to Kaching. Now you can do Quick Bloom with her before, and I have tested it with both Yulon or Jingchu as the Hydro options, but it didn't feel all that good to play. You don't get the rain swords or exquisite throw hits when Kaching is using her long animation burst, and you don't get as many dendro cores as a result. Uh, Farina actually changes this. Her pets may not apply as much hydro as like Jingchu does, but they do apply it regularly and without any additional requirements. Also, Farina's buff scales very well with aggregate reactions, giving it great value, even though it really doesn't increase the hyper bloom hits themselves. Now to show you my builds and what buffs fit in here for the team. Okay, starting with Kaching, uh, I have her more with Elemental Mastery, so you'll see that she has a lot more EM here. She's got a bit of Dendro Resonance because the double Dendro. And also, uh, I do have her weapon, or Nahida's weapon, so you get another 32 EM on top of that. When you get Reactions... With Dendro, you'll get another 50 more due to the Dendro Resonance. You'll get another 250 EM from Nihita's Burst. And also, Baiju has a passive that increases uh, Dendro Reactions based on his health, up to a maximum of 50,000 health, which I do have. Now, on top of those buffs, I do have Nihita's Constellation 2, so... Hyper Blooms will crit, and I'll also take advantage of uh, reducing or shredding 30% uh, armor. And for Farina, I do have her at C4, so I'll get the 400 stacks of fanfare, I'll get the increased gain of fanfare stacks, and an even higher boost to her fanfare and easier energy for her. Now, Kaching. Really does not need much energy recharge. I got 124% here, but even though she's the only Electro, it seems to be ample for her. Uh, she does have a really good crit ratio, and that's all thanks to Jade Cutter mainly that I have on her. Uh, she is 1.4% crit rate over hard crit cap because of her passive. This one here, so she gets another 15% crit rate there. I do have the Electro damage here. Now, her artifacts are not perfect. Uh, I do have Thundering Fury and Wanderer's Trope. Now, four set Thunder's Fury is actually better because the damage increase is the same as having 80 EM, but you also get the 
shorten cooldown on her E skill, which does help. Uh, but other than that, two set wonder trope, I still have relatively comparable damage. So with all the buffs in the party there, not only will her aggravates hit a lot harder, but uh, she'll actually get pretty decent hyper blooms as well. And I'm not going to lie, this is a very high invested team. And it should perform very well here. And I'll bring her into a Spiral Abyss and show you a test. I'm just going to skip over first half and I'm just going to show you her on the bosses and just how quick it is. Alright, here we are in Abyss. And uh, I'm going to be using this Kaching team in the second half of Floor 12. And the rotation usually follows where I'll start with Nahida's E and Burst, since it lasts a while. Farina's uh, E and Burst, Baiju's E and Burst, and then go ham on Kaching. And everything just evaporates at that point. So I'll be right back with you once uh, we're at the point where it's her turn to fight. Alright, now on to the first boss, uh, which is going to be Simon. Now he is very weak towards aggravate team, so this should be a very easy fight. So I'm going to start my rotation. Nahida, Freena, Baiju, then Kaching. So there's Nahida. Freena. Baiju. Kaching. Now look at that damage go. So 61k, 61k hyper blooms. There we go. And look, already done. That was a very quick fight. Now, uh, see you again once we're on Jade Plume. Alright, here we go. Now we're on Jade Plume. And I'm going to do the exact same rotation again here. So start with Nihida, E and Burst. Freena, E and Burst. Baiju E and Burst. Remember, help. Now it's time for Kaching to go. And there he goes. That was a very quick run, and I believe quicker than my last Abyss video that I came out with where I used ka uh, regular Kaching Aggravate, where it was uh, Kaching, Nahida, Baiju, and Fischl. And now we're going to be going on to Ice Sweet, Sweet next. Okay, and now we just repeat what I have to do again here. Very basic rotation here. A bitter pill to swallow. Seems like an emergency. Speed of light. Hey. Alright, go on to the second rotation here, because Ice One's got a bit more health. Mind the side effects. Remember. And they should finish him off. There we go. Already done. So, Kaching Quick Bloom is actually a very devastating team. And I believe it's even more devastating than Kaching Aggravate. So, if you got these characters, go ahead and give it a try. You might like it. And have yourself a great day and good luck on your best.